my welder here. Um, I just wanted to discuss something real. It's real simple, but uh, even I had questions about it when I uh, when I was first starting out with this welder, and it pretty much goes across the board. Uh, uh, DCEN and DCEP, and that means uh, direct current uh, electrode positive and direct current electrode neg negative. Um, right now, what I have hooked up right here is uh, I got the TIG torch hooked up to right there, and this is what's hooked up is the uh, the TIG torch. I got I got the the TIG torch hooked up to the negative end. And that would be uh, when the torch itself is hooked up to the negative. That's DCEN, uh, direct current electro negative. I don't know if you can see, but there's a there's a negative right here, and then there's a positive right there. And then the ground itself, the uh, the ground, the ground itself is hooked up to the. Um, the positive right here so this is for when you're TIG welding so that would be DCEN because it's a uh, direct current elect uh, electrode negative now what happens is when you want to you want to put your stinger when you want to use your stinger you want to use the stick for when you're stick welding when you want to you get your stick and you want to do some stick welding you got to switch over and then now you got to do DCEP and you got to put this right here over here and then you got to switch the ground lead you got to switch the ground over to the other side and then you got to put this one in here so this would be DCEP for the direct current uh, electro positive this is going to hook up to the positive, and then the ground clamp is going to hook up to the negative. And then when you're TIG welding, it's it's opposite. When you're TIG welding, it's uh, you got to have the the torch. You got to have the torch hooked up to the negative. You got to have the torch hooked up to the negative, and then you got to have the ground hooked up to the positive. So that was something I had to look into real quick. Um, you know, I just did a little bit of a looking. And uh, it wasn't too hard to find that one out. But uh, some people are confused about that in some circumstances. Um, when you're using um, like flux core, like if you got a wire welder, I'll get one soon and I'll show you. But when you got it, when you use a flux core, you got to switch. You got to switch them. If you're MIG welding, it's going to be one way. And if you're uh, flux core, if you're using flux core, you have to switch it. It's going to be DCEN when you're flux core. And all it is is uh, the way that, that it flows. Um, on the positive, you're going to have more heat buildup on the positive. And when you're using like a flux core, you're going to have to, uh, the more heat's going to build up on, around the metal. It's going to go from negative to positive using current theory flow. Um, but when you're using flux core, uh, opposed to using just like MIG, bare wire with a, with the gas, tungsten, um, you have to switch the polarity. And it's the same thing with, uh, stick welding and TIG welding. Once again, with the, with the stick, we're going to put the electrode, the stinger, we're going to have it in the positive over here. And then we're going to have the ground clamp on the negative and then when you're TIG welding it's opposite so when you're TIG welding you have the torch on the negative and then you have the ground clamp on the positive and I did do it the opposite way just to see what would happen because supposedly if you uh, supposedly if you switch it or the where the um, torch is on the positive and the ground clamp is on negative when you're uh, TIG welding, supposedly you, they're saying supposedly, I, I think you got to use helium though, um, helium gas. Uh, you could do some like uh, some uh, aluminum welding, but I, I just wanted to see what happened. It does not work. It just doesn't work if you're trying to do steel. I just wanted to see what would happen. Um, 
So like I said, when you're doing stick welding, uh, put your stinger on the positive, your ground clamp on the negative. When you're doing TIG welding, flip it. It's opposite. So uh, I just wanted to show you though, I got to slamming on this thing right here. That weld held pretty good. When you slam on something and the actual base metal itself starts to break before the uh, weld does, you know that's a decent weld. Here's some of my, uh, that's just some TIG welding. Actually, no. Yeah, I think I went TIG welding over. Oh, I came over here. That's what happens when you don't have enough shielding gas. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to talk about DCEN and uh, DCEP. That's the polarity of your torch. You, you can hook it up separately. And even with like a MIG welder, you can hook it up. You to open it up and you can switch the cables. And you wanna you wanna switch it when you're doing um, flux core wire welding, and uh, you know some are uh, you can hook up the gas and you could do the bare wire MIG welding using the gas. And then uh, if you but if you put in some flux core, you're gonna have to switch polarities. Um, there's theory behind that, but that's just what you have to do when you're like I said, TIG welding, switch it. Uh, Hook up your stinger, you're doing some uh, stick welding, switch it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.